Welcome to the Go Markets MT4 Genesis tutorial. MT4 Genesis provides a suite of tools to help you optimize your trading experience within MT4. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Market Manager. To get started, head down to the Navigator window where you'll see the Expert Advisors tab. To apply one of the EAs, either double left click on it or click and drag it onto the chart. Click OK to apply it and the Market Manager window will pop up. Now you find the market manager window quite useful, but also very similar to the market watch window on the left hand side here that is standard within MT4. However, there's a lot of very useful functions within the market manager. So let's take a look at those now. Now first off, as you can see, we've got all the currency pairs and you'll also notice that there's lots and profits in addition to the typical bid and ask that you see on the market watch window. So this enables us to see how many lots we currently have long or short, and it also shows our running open profit on those positions. Now we are also able to manage our positions directly from the market manager window simply by clicking on the window here. This will then ask us whether we wish to confirm the close orders and confirm all the orders to be closed on the euro dollar in this instance, and I'm going to select no. In addition to that, we're actually able to left click on the currency pair itself and it'll bring up another window providing a lot of information and enabling us to make a buy or sell decision directly from this chart here. So in this section, you have a couple of options. You have a number of sentiment charts showing you the percentage of long versus short, the buyers versus the sellers and who's in control. And just below that, you have the chart covering three different time frames. You've got a five minute chart, a 15 minute chart, and an hourly chart. You could also change these candlestick charts to a bid ask spread chart if you wanted to. And down the bottom here, we also have the opportunity to close the position if we wanted to on this particular trade. So it's asking us, do we want to confirm to close all orders on the Euro US dollar? In this case, I'm going to select no. So now what I want to do is show you how you can actually place a buy or a sell order and add to your existing position. So let's click on the sell button. So as you can see, the new order has popped up and what we can do is we can change the order type. We can change it from a buy or a sell, a buy limit or a buy stop or a sell stop. We can also change the lot size from fixed lot size to fixed cash risk, percentage of equity and percentage of balance. We're just going to leave it at fixed lot size for now. And at this point in time, we'll trade a mini contract on the Euro dollar. And the stop loss enables us to choose pips, fixed price, percentage of equity or percentage of balance. We'll just choose pips here and we'll put a stop loss 25 pips away. We can also put a take profit order in and we'll use pips as well. And we'll put this one 50 pips away. And then we can also implement a trailing stop loss. And we can use pips on that one as well. And we might use a 15 pip trailing stop loss here. Please note that the trailing stop will only operate while this terminal is running. Now, in addition to that, you can actually place a comment. So if you're running any particular expert advisors or you had particular characteristics that you wanted to nominate towards this trade or a style of trading or a system that you wanted to nominate as providing the alert for this trade, then you can put the comments in here as well. Now the great news with this is if you use these parameters consistently, then what you can do is you can actually save the template. By saving the template, you can automatically apply a stop loss, take profit and trailing stop loss in this fashion here to save you time on your subsequent orders. So now I'm going to place the order and execute this trade. And that order has now gone through and you can see that my lots have now gone from short one mini to short two minis. Now, if we go back to the market manager window, you notice that we've got a number of other options there. So we've got the market watch, but I can also just select my current open positions. If I wanted to, I could select the different currency pairs by symbol. So I could just have a look at all those that are US dollar denominated or Euro denominated. And I can also check my open and pending orders. And I can have a look at my account info. Now within the account info tab, you'll notice that we've got the setting and the value. So we've got our equity, our floating profit and loss, the free margin and margin and use. And you can also see the pips profit. Now down the bottom here, you can see we've got a graph of the margin in use, but I can also change that to floating P&L and I can also change this to pips profit. So that was a bit of a run through the market manager. Now there is a lot in the market manager, so make sure you jump in there, have a play around to see which of those tools are useful to you. We hope you found the information on the market manager useful and we look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Thank you.